everybody and we are out in the field today doing a range test between three wireless audio systems. So this is a bit of a preparation video for a upcoming video because I do plan to do a full comparison between the Sennheiser G3 wireless system, the Roadlink wireless filmmaker kit and also the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 system. So in today's video, <laughs> I almost dropped my walkie. So in today's video, we'll be focusing particularly on the practical range of these three systems. Let me explain a bit by what I mean by practical range, because when you push these wireless systems to their limits, they do not just die off from 100 to zero all of a sudden. They slowly lose transmission intermittently, and that's when you get very choppy audio. And that is when I'll call the test because the audio becomes unusable. So let me walk you through the setup a bit. So behind the camera here, I have my recordist, Joel and he's monitoring the signal right now. Right now, we are on the Roadlink Wireless Filmmaker Kit. So the receiver of our wireless system will be mounted on the camera hot shoe. So we'll be repeating the test three times each time with a different wireless system. We're shooting on a Canon C100 Mark II and we all have radios. So the moment the audio becomes unusable, it starts to drop out, it starts to glitch out, it becomes choppy. Joel is going to radio me to let me know that the audio has become unusable. And all the way back there, I can't even see him, I have a BTS camera in the distance showing us a very wide view of what is going on. Our unsung hero T is somewhere lost in the background. And obviously I'll be wearing the LAV along with its wireless transmitter. The transmitter will always be on my back. Yep. So let's get on with the test. All right, so I'm just gonna slowly walk away from the camera in a straight line and Joe's gonna radio me the moment the audio becomes choppy and unusable. So this is the Roadlink Wireless Filmmaker Kit. So I'm just gonna keep on walking away from the camera. I'm gonna jump cut somewhere around here. Okay, so I sort of have to keep talking continuously because if not, Joe won't be able to monitor the status of the uh, wireless system. So I'm just gonna keep talking and blabbing so Joel can identify right away when something doesn't sound right. So I'm just gonna keep walking away and away and away and away. Just gonna keep talking and talking and talking and talking. This is the Roadlink Wireless Filmmaker Kit. This is rated for 100 meters and it's holding up pretty well to its promise. Frame off the BTS camera. You can't probably even see me now. I'm very... Shut up. Okay, so the road links just dropped out and I am out of range, so I kind of put a stone here at my feet to mark this is where the transmission was lost. So I'm gonna go back and try it with a different wireless system. All right, so next up, we are doing the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 wireless system. Next, this is quite a bit of a workout, although it's just walking. So I've switched out both the transmitters and receivers and the lav as well to the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 system. So the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 is the cheapest option out of the three wireless systems. So let's see how this uh, Chinese brand holds up to the two industry giants, Rode and Sennheiser. So I'm just gonna keep walking away from the camera as per before. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm dropping off. Is the audio unusable at this point? Uh, just interference. That's right? interference. So at this point, I'm getting some sort of interference with the ceremonics. The signal is starting to get a bit unstable, but I'm still getting sort of usable audio. So I'm just going to keep walking away and see when it starts to become unusable. So Joel will let me know when the audio becomes unusable. I'm just going to keep walking away and away and away. Whew. And away and away and away and away. Losing it's sunlight. It's dropping off. It's, it's, dropping. Dropping. it's unusable. Right, so the ceremonics have dropped out and is already unusable, which is not very good because the road was still usable up till behind that hill. So the ceremonic definitely has a weaker range than the road and Sennheiser. So this is about a good 20 meters less than the road. All right, so now for the last contender, we have switched to the Sennheiser Evolution Wireless 100 G3 wireless system, the most expensive kit out of the three kits, the only German contender, although it's made in the USA. So I'm expecting probably the best results from this kit because it is the industry standard and it should be the most reliable kit of them all because after all, what are you paying extra for? This is the most expensive kit of them three. I should still be in range. Frankly, I really love these Sennheisers. They are what I usually use for my videos. They sound great 
and they are reliable. I just like them overall, although they do cost a lot of money. Still walking, still walking, still going. A little bit of interference. A little bit of an interference at this point on the BTS okay, camera. Dropping off. I'm dropping off. So the Sennheisers are finally unusable. So I'm very far back, definitely further back than the Ceremonics. And there is the stone I set as a marker for the end of range for the Roadlink Wireless Filmmaker Kit. So I'm literally about one, two, three, four, five steps away from the road. So the road technically still won, although by a margin, but I'm gonna call it pretty much an equal result because the difference in range for that is pretty much negligible. So both the Rode and Sennheiser start to become unusable at pretty much the same point. I'm gonna walk back to the camera and let's wrap this up. So we've done all three wireless systems, very interesting results. The Saramonic UW Mic 9 system was significantly of a shorter operating range compared to the Rhodes and Sennheisers. So the Rhodes and Sennheisers were really close. The Rhodes had the edge by five steps, but given it's like a five step distance, it's about one meter. I'll call it negligible and say that both of them have pretty much the same amount of reliability and operating range. However, the UW Mic 9s were a bit of a surprise. I did not expect them to cut off that early. Otherwise, it still provides some pretty usable range because even with very long range miking, I rarely find myself ever needing to have to place a talent that far away from the camera. So that's pretty much a wrap for today. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions or any comments regarding these three wireless systems. Which wireless systems do you prefer? Do you own any of these wireless systems and how do you find them? Let me know as well. So that's pretty much it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.